I was working at a manufacturing plant that made silicon wafers. I knew from things that I have re had read and things that I had studied that going toward one piece flow was what I wanted to do in the plant. So I created this simulation. I took the uh, processing times for each of the machines that we had in the plant and each of the departments that we had um, and had them and scaled them down so that I could create a simulation that would take uh, you know, minutes or hours instead of taking days or weeks. And, um, and then got them in a boardroom and showed them the demonstration, had them actually participate. Having presentations like this will help us in uh, going out in the real world because it gives you the hands-on feel and understanding and you, you can visualize it a lot better than just sitting down learning in a classroom and having somebody talk about it. You actually get that, that hands-on approach. Anytime you actually perform an activity is better than just sitting there and hearing somebody speak on it. You learn best by doing. One of the things we learned in the demonstration today was how you can re by reducing the batch size, you can cut down on a lot of your scrap and uh, be able to find problems a lot quicker. And it uh, showed that even though traditional view of mass production isn't necessarily the right way and that lean practices are actually much better um, in affecting everything in the process, even down to your bottom line and profitability. It's important to know supply chain if you're going into business because it's how you make your products it affects how you do things in your company, even if you're in accounting or finance in your department, how you uh, move your paperwork through the department. It makes things more efficient, uh, the quality is great, and these are great things for business. The benefits to holding demonstrations like this for uh, business students in general is just that it can help us as busy people uh, help us organize our life and see how we can make ourselves more simpler and even more efficient. Uh, as we go out into the workforce. Supply chain deals with how things are made and how material or information is transformed. So this not only applies, most people think of supply chain as dealing with, um, dealing with manufacturing, and it definitely does, where you have raw materials that come in one side of a plant, uh, you do some stuff to that material, and then you ship it out the door as a finished product. But it also applies to services where you're taking information, uh, information from people, and transforming that information into a different form uh, that gives them more information or allows them to do things in their business. So uh, supply chain is really about uh, implementing uh, the ideas that, that we come up with in, in management, we come up with in the business school.